I've been requested to film a uh, small tour of the nursery, what it's like today. This is the uh, French door. I actually had this installed because of Sequoia last year. I had a flimsy screen door here before. Wasn't very long before I determined that she was going to maybe rip it off its hinges. So we've got a real door. So we do keep the kittens separated from the rest of the cats. Queen calls the shots. Yes. There's Tiny or uh, Tiny Bear for Sahara. We have a um, shade on the door so that uh, she doesn't see the other kitties looking in. It's top down, bottom up kind of shade, so I can uh, have it halfway down or halfway up. I can look in on them. This is my studio, my workroom, my office. As you can see, this is where I keep uh, a journal of their weights and everything that goes on with them. This is a feeding station. I've been feeding Sahara in the bed. I'm going to try to get her to eating out here. This is where they were actually born. I had the nest underneath this table. It fits very nicely under the table. It's more like a cave. It feels safer. It's kind of out of the way, but when they get to be about a week old, I like to get them out here in the light where I can see them better. We have a little table here at the end. This is a dog kennel, one of those soft-sided folding kinds. And it has uh, the roll-up sides, two sides roll up. When she first has the kittens, I usually have the side rolled uh, half down with just one corner up so that she can come in and out. And I've made little walls with these slide in and out on each opening so that uh, she can jump in and out easily, but the kittens can't creep out. All this stuff you see on the end here in the table, this is the kitty cam. This is the live streaming cam, so they're on live streaming cam pretty much 24-7. Everybody can't wait for the kittens to get out and start running and then they start complaining because they can't see any kittens on cam. <laughs> the cam can't keep up with them. Last year I invested in a baby monitor so that I can actually watch them from upstairs or any other room in the house. This, um, I can actually control it so that it rotates. It's very handy, especially before birth, so that I can watch her downstairs. I used to have the kittens born upstairs, but Sahara won't stay up there with me. Um, so we had to make other arrangements for Sahara. Tiny Bear's kittens were usually born upstairs. But Sahara's have all, all been born down here in this kennel. And here they are. I think that's about it. I do have um, I have a curtain here at the, at the end here. It also opens up at the end. In fact, I'll be taking that down and give them a little more light. But uh, when the queen first has her kittens and is bonding with them, it's best that you keep them really quiet, keep the other cats out. And uh, every queen's different. Tiny Bear was very relaxed. Anybody could come and go. Cat, other cats could jump in and out of the nest, no problem. But uh, Sahara won't put up with that. So, Koya wouldn't even allow me to move the nest over here into the light. I tried that. She promptly moved her kitten into the litter box, and so she won the battle, and we moved the nest back over underneath the table where it was dark, and she felt safer. So we've just weighed them in. We changed the bedding. Mom's, doing, Mom's inspecting the bedding. Okay, now we'll put them all back inside. Yeah, they look like li real little kittens now. Yeah, they do. We, they're actually kittens and not little rats. They're cute little faces here. Okay, this is Kettle. In her little uh, yellow collar. Kettle is still the biggest. She's, she's maintaining her lead over Kumquat by a, a small margin of one gram. Here's a little kumquat in a little blue collar band. Oh, oh, little kumquat. Okay, mom's gonna have to make sure that you're 
all spruced up here. Kimosabi. Kimosabi. Kimosabi is gaining very well. She's going to catch up. Yeah, she's a yeah, fat little cat. And of course, Kabuki san is doing well too. Kabuki san. Hello, Kabuki san. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Put the uh, wall back up so nobody can creep out. There we go. 